My name is David Ryan, and I'm here in Washington, D.C. to announce the winners of the National Solar Education Competition. The National Solar Education Competition was sponsored by the National Education Association and the U.S. Department of Energy and solicited ideas for solar experiments from middle school students all around the country. And the winning experiment is going to be demonstrated here as part of the festivities during the Solar Decathlon. Now, uh, this competition solicited ideas from middle schoolers all around the country, and the winning team is from Larson Middle School in Troy, Michigan, from the classroom of Judy Gale Armstrong Hall, and the team, which has dubbed their team name the Solar Monkeys, is the five boys in seventh grade, William Waters, Kenneth Wang, Adam Sismans, Haruya Sakai, and Lamul Chiang. So their experiment is basically a demonstration of the heat energy that's included in sunlight. And it involves uh, two soda bottles and two balloons, and basically that's it. It's a very simple experiment and really kind of cool. Basically, you take two soda bottles and you paint one black and one white, as we've done here, and you have two balloons, one black and one white. And you put the black balloon on the black bottle and the white balloon on the white bottle, and you take them and put them in direct sunlight. Now, the solar monkeys hypothesize that what's going to happen is the black balloon will blow up and expand more than the white balloon will. And the reason for this is that the black bottle absorbs more sunlight and therefore more heat than the white bottle will. As the sunlight uh, heats up the, the black bottle, the air that's inside the bottle will expand and blow up the balloon. And since the black bottle absorbs more heat, the black balloon will expand more than the white balloon. Now this is a really interesting phenomenon and it has lots of practical application. And the biggest of which is the fact that since black absorbs more heat than white, you can control amount, the amount of heat that gets into, say, your home by the color of the home. If you live in Troy, Michigan, as the solar monkeys do, it's beneficial to have a black roof because it absorbs more heat and therefore, since you're heating a lot, you won't have to spend as much on your heating. Now, on the other hand, if you live in some place really warm, like Southern California, then you could paint your roof white and that would reflect more of the sunshine and it would absorb less of the heat. So therefore you would ha have to cool with your air conditioning your house a little bit less. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the balloons on the bottles here. And then just to make sure the seal is good, uh, we actually added uh, these little elastic bands to put around the base of each of the balloons, just to make sure that none of the air, which is inside the bottles, seeks out, seeps out from the seal on the balloon. Okay. So there we go. That's the setup. And now we go put them in the sunshine. Let's go.
we're back. So as you saw, while the bottles were in direct sunlight, the black balloon definitely blew up faster and probably bigger than the white balloon. But there were some other questions in there that you might want to think about and discuss with your teacher. To wrap things up, I just want to say congratulations one more time to the five seventh grade boys in Miss Judy Gale Armstrong Hall's uh, seventh grade class from Larson Middle School in Troy, Michigan. Thank you guys so much for submitting this experiment. It was really easy to do and I thought provided a lot of good information about solar energy and how to collect it in the form of heat. Uh, this was a great solar decathlon here in 2009, and if you weren't able to join us here in Washington, D.C., we hope that you can join us again in two years, in 2011, when the decathlon will be back. Until then, bye-bye.